Being South African and all, people have been asking me here and there to talk about South Africa, which I am reluctant to do because it just oppresses me or makes me want to Hulk smash a hole in the wall with my head. Why? Because of stuff like this. The project of decolonizing education in Africa is not just a matter of academic interest, it is a pressing need. We must challenge colonial theories and practices to build resilient education systems that are centered on African perspectives and experiences. This requires a shift away from a Eurocentric worldview to embrace a more diverse and inclusive perspective. We must acknowledge and value the knowledge systems of all people and integrate them into our curricula and knowledge selection processes. To quote Professor Farnsworth, Holy zombie Jesus! What the fuck does any of that even mean? This is just mindless gibberish. How the hell does any human being say something this imbecilic, let alone the head of state? This is so insanely stupid, I'm at a loss for words, I actually don't know where to begin with this. You're literally following this picture as a governing model, and seeing as I was born there, I can play this card. How is this not the return to monkey meme? I'm being serious by the way, that's a legitimate question. South Africa has the world's highest youth unemployment rate, significantly north of even Palestine. Although that might be different now considering the circumstances. Look at this, 82% of grade 4 kids can't read this headline. Considering the demographic of the land and the president apparently saying he wants to decolonize education, which evidently means rendering people illiterate, can you guess the demographic that can read? I'll give you a hint, from which continent does that language emanate? And you know this is all to keep the current cretins in power, right? Education making people self-sufficient and aware of how corrupt and incompetent the regime really is? No, there is no way in hell they're gonna try and do anything about that. This is how the university system is graded. Look at this. For a learner to gain admission to a bachelor program at one of the country's universities, they must attain a minimum of 50% in four subjects, the department said. Similarly, a learner will need to attain a minimum of 40% in four subjects to enter a diploma program, it said. The department said that it is aware of arguments that raising this threshold to 50% would improve the education system. However, it said that this change would not be made as the system aims to encourage different levels of achievement. Different levels of achievement. Do you see why? The country is on the verge of collapse. Do you see why I don't talk about South Africa? Because every time I read stuff like this, every prejudice I have, every fiber of my elitism, every politically incorrect opinion that I have gets reinforced with lethal levels of radiation and frankly fills me with urges that I can't share on this platform. <sighs> Good God, decolonizing education in Africa. You know we constantly have to tell Americans Africa is a continent, not a country. And here the so-called president of one is speaking as if he's doing so on behalf of the entire continent. This is just going to confuse people. This requires a shift away from a Eurocentric worldview to embrace a more diverse and inclusive perspective. Yeah, just not the European one apparently, which also makes no sense because this stupid thinking is itself also a product of Europe. It's almost like he's full of shit. You know we already have a substantial portion of those who think there's certain groups who just can't mesh with the civilized world and they just don't have the capacity, they're primitive. And if you went by this rhetoric, it would seem even they agree with that. Which by the way, if you don't like the Eurocentric thinking, feel free to leave Europe anytime soon. Why do you think South Africa was so wealthy and prosperous decades prior? Why do you think Mr. Beast had to go and build water wells in Africa? Why do you think China is investing and building infrastructure there? Oh, I don't know. Everyone playing dumb as if they all don't know why. Decolonize. How far back do you want to go with that exactly? Because if you go full stupid and purge all of imperialism, you're going to regress to this. Hell, you'd likely even get rid of the wheel. Electricity, buildings, roads, medicines, science, language, farming techniques, any and all machinery, firearms, plumbing, all forms of telecommunication and transportation technology. In essence, return to a desolate landscape. Let me put it in perspective for you all. The primitiveness of this region of the world, right? They were still using shields of leather hides by pretty sure the 1900s still. Meanwhile, Europe developed chainmail as early as 300 BC. This was before China had its first emperor, by the way, and in between Alexander the Great invading Egypt and the start of the first Punic Wars. As far as I'm aware, the language of these regions are drastically underdeveloped compared to Eurasia. Pretty sure some of them can't even grasp, say, 
concepts like abstract thinking or even time in the future sense. Look at the absurdity of this entire situation, for example. Speaking at a venue where he was driven to guarantee you in a German car, in a room built with bricks and mortar, furnished with lights and microphones and cameras, streaming to the internet, powered by electricity, wearing a suit in a republic as the president, a position of power that he attained via democratic means, all the while speaking fucking English. Everything around you, everything about you, from the money you have in your pocket, your mobility, the shoes on your feet, the clothes on your back, the way you wash yourself, the way you relieve yourself, the title you hold, hell, the country's existence is a product of Europe. Without Europe, you wouldn't be worth jack shit. Do you see why I'm a monarchist? Do you see why I detest democracy as much as I do? Or at the very least, universal suffrage. And the equal rights can get the canon. That's bollocks as well. I have nothing good to say about any of this. Democracy is one of the most cancerous plagues ever to be unleashed on humanity. It has done nothing but allow access for the most incompetent and corrupt to bleed a country dry. To quote the wisdom of a certain saint, in heaven there is a kingdom, in hell there is a democracy, so let it be cast back there and burn for all eternity. Cheers for watching and once again, I apologize for nothing.